in the round. Jones senses a big opportunity here. He's all over the place, Rose. And here John Lewis has stepped in and waved it off. He's waved it off. I don't believe this. I mean, at this level, you have to give a fighter a chance to see. He was hurt, but there's no question he was hurt. But at this level, a man who's on the... See it again, I mean, he was in a, a, a bad state. I thought it was a premature stoppage. I think with his experience and the level he's boxed, that he's been given a chance to see if he can cope with the crisis. Like I said, the referees are there to protect the fighter and, and the fighter was getting hit. Yeah, his hands were up and stuff like that. But you, you know what I mean? You're not going to win the fight. You're just seriously getting hurt. He was damn Look in the corners. At the end of the round, you look at him. Oval McKenzie was just getting stronger and stronger. And in the rematch, boy, I don't know why, I don't know why they'd want to have a rematch with Oval. Oval was going to think, well, boy. Oval's got his oh, power. We Oval's going to get better. Oval get, he's not going to fight the same fight in the next fight. In the next fight. And I don't see Enzo getting any better. So you need to leave that alone. Oval had too much power, yeah, but... I've never. I don't see. I don't see that as a good stoppage, man. I, 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 I don't. I don't, I don't see I don't, it as a good stoppage. You don't, you don't. Got himself hung up in the ropes one night at Madison Square Garden and wound up dying in a New York hospital. I think if he had it to do over again, Arthur McCanny might have stopped this one or two punches short of where he finally I, did so. I agree with you, Jim. 
He was helpless there on the ropes. He couldn't escape, and he wasn't returning any fire. Stopping right there would have been okay. That's okay. That would have done. That would have been nice. I think Arthur would like to have that one back. Just a couple. Where are you out in itself? Just that nervousness. Mercer with the two good right hands. And now Mercer on Morrison in the corner. And Mercer's all over him. And Morrison in trouble. And Morrison goes down for the first time in his career. And that is it. That's it. The it is fight it. Is over. Ray Mercer has won it. He successfully defended his WBO Heavyweight Championship. Woo. Boy, what a flurry of punches Ray Mercer put together there. Tommy Morrison does not. Mike Marley with us, and here comes Mercer on the attack, and right at this point, Morrison's out of it. He, he was out on his feet, precisely, Glenn. He was out of it, groggy. I mean, he does know what's hitting him at that point. Well, those are damaging blows right there. He was out of it. Four, five, six. Wow. Refer Morrison could have been seriously hurt there. You're exactly right. Referee Tony Perez should have stepped in a little bit sooner. Take another look and you can count him. At this point, Morrison's out of it right here after that left hand. Now from this point on, this is the damage. Three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. And finally went down for the first time in his career. Champion of the world, up he probably wins the fight i can't believe it unbelievable richard I'm... Steele stopped the fight with fewer than five seconds to go you're gonna watch lou duba go crazy now you're gonna watch lou duba go absolutely berserk this is one of the most unusual calls by a referee in the whole history of the sport The left hook set set him up for the right hand. And Meldrick trying to hold himself up, get hit by a solid right hand, and goes to the canvas. Now, here's where Steele makes a critical decision. Taylor was up. My memory tells me by the count of four, Ray. I think it was five. He was up. You're right, it was five, seven, seven eight, eight, nine. nine. Now he looks at him. Are you okay? And, and stops the fight. You notice Mel's is looking at his corner. George Meldrick Brunson. Taylor never truly recovered. Meldrick Taylor lost everything that night. He didn't just lose a title belt. He was never going to be Meldrick Taylor again. In the years following the loss to Chavez, Taylor's life and career propelled into a downward spiral, marked by diminished skills inside the ring. Room, so you know that I expect a clean fight. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. God bless, touch up. This punches, and that may really give him some Very good work here in round one. And Becca, think oh, about things, and there's a low blow. That's again. a third one in round one. Success with his punches. 
And that will be called a knockdown. And then the knockdown. I don't think that's a knockdown. I think that's Becco landed at least five low blows. There's another one. Wasn't a struggle to even make the weight limit. That's another low blow. Quarters with this young lion. Big in addition to the, the he'd be down three rounds. Like all night, I don't think he's sharp tonight. He's going to have to. That low blow is almost to the knee. <laughs> That's the fifth warning. Get him up. Get him up. And he's the one that suffered the injury. Oh, now that, now some straight right hands. And there, uh, to uh, Agbeko. Championship rounds. Oh, oh now the, oh, oh my, oh my goodness. If he doesn't take a point away at this point, Champion has been hit low repeatedly. Clean body shots as well, but a lot of them below the border. Oh, again. That's, that's, that's oh my cool. goodness. Well, we got to look at it again, but it sure looked low from where we were sitting. That was a low blow, and this referee has failed in this fight. Totally. He's not only... Oh my goodness. How could you not see that? He hit it right in the cup. He's right there! That's, this is the most disgraceful performance by referee I have seen in the last 15 years. Scores about 113 to 113, even a draw. Judges Adelaide Bird and Oren Schellenberger both scored about 115 to 111 in favor of the winner. Now the Showtime Bantamweight Tournament champion and the new IBF Bantamweight champion of the world. Субтитры